it's in a different location. Um, hey everybody, this is your homeboy Seth Donald Ford for this coach and online. Well, I found out information about my shoulder uh, is not uh, rotator cuff as what I think thought it was the whole entire time. Um, he said everything is intact on the rotator cuff. Which I feared it was, and that you know I wouldn't be able to punch if you know a rotator cuff was torn, and so I knew I knew it wasn't that. So I'm gonna have to. The doctor told me to take off two weeks of no upper body training. That's right, no upper body training. But does that mean I'm gonna quit working out? No. I got my lower part, my midsection. But he said no arms or chest for a full month. Not for my full month. I meant, I meant to say for a full, for full two weeks, not a month. For a full two weeks, he wants me to shut my arms down. Um, he said you can work out your core. He said you can work out your legs. Um, since you do the martial arts, you can work on your uh, kicking and your stances. If you, you know, since you, if you practice traditional stuff, and that's what he told me. Uh, I said, oh, I do. And he said, okay, well, then you, you know, do your stances and, and um, you can, you know, work on your kicks and stuff. You know, do a lot of weight, leg exercise. You know, you work on your footwork and stuff like that. But he said, no upper body movement. So, for two weeks straight, probably be training on legs. Um, I'm going to try to figure out what to do for leg conditioning. Um, I never really worked on lower legs that much. I know a little bit of it. I mean, I do do uh, jumping jacks, squats, but he said I can't do jumping jacks because it has involvement with moving the upper body. Um, and that's what he said. Uh, unless if I maybe could have him like down here just not moving the upper body and still do them. With my lower body, I could probably do that and just modify it, just be more of a lazy jumping jack. But, you know, I'm trying to figure out new ways of training since I can't really work my upper body. Um, but other than that, you know, today is Thanksgiving, you know, Thanksgiving is about spending time with your family, you know, being there for them and, you know, hanging out with them and everything else. And, you know, I want you guys to be safe out there. Um, if you are injured or anything like that, you know, if you're, you know, if you're hurting all the time, it, it, don't be afraid to seek help, you know, seek help, you know, go to the doctor, you know, to see what's wrong with it, you know, before it gets worse. And so that's what I'm doing. You know, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing what he said. He gave me some medicine. I can take two times a day. Um, and, and, and inflammatory, I don't know, steroids or something like that. Um, he said, uh, take them two times a day. I have to eat it, eat it with a meal, which I had a cupcake and then I took it. So, but other than that, I just got to rest my upper body, but I don't know how I'm going to rest it because I use it at work a lot. Um, but he said, uh, I can still do everything normal at work. He said, there's no conditioning for the upper body for two weeks. Which, am I? Okay, I mean, I still work my lower body, you know. And I can still do something with that. But it's just the fact that, you know, I'm more of an upper body type of person when it comes to training. Um, I guess I can just even it out, I guess, and see where it goes. Who knows, you know, if I take two weeks off from the upper body training, maybe that's what I'm, I might need, you know, to do. And I'm not going to take two weeks off fully from my training because, you know, that's just not how I am. 
and you know, I want to say some more active. And so when so when you get an injury and you feel like you have a setback, don't let it be your setback. You know, um, there's other parts of the body you still work out, out on. Um, he's training other areas, you know, if you need to, and, you know, work on them. Your upper body is not just your only limit. Yeah, we use our upper body every day, you know, for things, you know, for reaching, carrying, and stuff like that, for playing video games, to drawing, to writing, to typing on the computer, um, Reaching for the car door, from, you know, getting into the car, reaching out for a door to get into your house. Um, but, you know, the thing of it is, you know, use your upper body no matter what. You're still using it. And he said, you won't lose your gains. And I'm like, well, I was thinking, well, since I can't really practice upper body movements and I thought I wonder if I was still practice Tai Chi even though it was upper body movement and I asked him and I said would Tai Chi affect my shoulder he said Tai Chi is a stretching mobility exercise no it will not and he said if you can feel like you can do Tai Chi you know do it and that's what he told me, and I said, okay. So, I don't know if I'll switch over to Tai Chi on the softer arts, you know, for meditation. But, I don't know if I want to uh, go to, to the softer arts. Um, because I am getting, I don't know, it's a, I don't know if I'm just getting older. Well, he says I'm young. I mean, like he says, oldest is just an age number. And that's, that's what he told me. And I said, you know, if you want to do something, it doesn't matter. But he's got to, you know, can't be he-man all the time. You know, if you're, you know, one day if you're feeling really tired, you know, and if you don't have the energy, he said, don't force yourself to do it. So, and I said, well, <laughs> I looked at him, I said, most of the time, I really don't have the energy. And I said, when I get off work, I'm usually tired half the time anyway. Anyway, because I worked a full day. And then, but I still want to get my physical therapy and that's what I told him and I said that's how I that's how I treat my mind is to work out but well, maybe maybe it's just he's just telling me you know you need to rest rest your body you know it's just like sorry I, I can't do that I said I got a I got a platform to perform and I said I can't just quit my training period he said you can work your lower body I'm like you can do treadmill you know you can do bicycling you can do uh all kinds of leg exercises and everything else um what else is there uh but yeah it is what it is you know um but if you see some videos with me doing some leg exercises and then um That's one thing, but um, it's just the fact that I'm not used to doing leg exercise, lower body conditioning. I said maybe I might get more timed out, but uh, I just can't do like any upper body motion. Which, if y'all know what to do for that, you know, hit me up on. Uh, Instagram, Don Four, and, and uh, message me there. Say, hey, I saw your video, and I would like 
you know, to give you advice on what to do for the lower legs. You know, because I'm so new to this fit, the fitness world. I mean, I can do squats, I can do lunges, uh, I can do side leg steps, side step lunges, where you act like you're doing a stretch, but really it's a side step lunge. That's what, that's what people call it, they call it the side step lunge. I have a hard time doing it because in my left knee, but I still do it. And, uh, my max is like 10 reps on it. But I mean, I still do them. And because it helps with the hip mobility and stuff like that. So, um, when it comes to training, I'm very cautious on what I do. And I even asked him about the fitness massage gun and everything. I said, would that help? You know, just to massage it, deep tissue massage. He said, no. He said, it, you know, if you feel like it, it helps you out. You know, if you want to massage it and everything, he said, you could go ahead and use it. But really, he said, it's a waste of money on that thing. And, but he said, if you already have one, he said, if you have already tried it, it's just to ease the pain a little bit. You know, you just want to give it a quick massage, deep tissue massage. You know, just ease the pain. You know, to get it all loosened up, then get the blood flowing through there. He said, it probably wouldn't hurt it, but he said, it really typically, no, you don't need it. And so, you know, I still have it. I still use it. I mean, it's this little thing right here. Um, I only bought it for 30 bucks uh, at Dollar General. I mean, it works pretty good. There's like all kinds of different loads. You need to put it right here. And you need to massage. You always want to hit the pressure points on there. When you sew it down, you turn it off. But other than that, it works. I mean, it helps it out from you know, being too tight all the time. I mean, I use it for, not, for helping me out. You know, keep it from getting too tight right here after you know, sitting for too long or whatever. And you know, without doing anything or something, or looking at probably look at my phone too much or whatever. I mean I try not to look at my phone too much but it's just I've been doing a lot of reading though too lately and it's just that I'm just you know I'm trying to stay healthy, stay smart, stay motivated and um, I know this ain't healthy but um, it's a habit I still have and I really can't quit it. It's like, if I quit it, it's like I've become a, a real, a, a real dick. So, I don't want to be a dick. And that's the reason why I'm, I'm kind of slowing down on it. Because everything is going up so high, you know, on prices and everything. And I'm just, like, trying to figure out, okay, what do I need the most? And so it's like i'm just trying to slow down on this i usually have one or two a day now 
I mean, I really don't drink a whole lot. Usually, if I do drink, usually it's mostly water throughout the day. That's it, but I'm feeling tired or whatever, you know. Usually, I have a soda just to kick me up, or I'll drink some coffee and still on my way. And then, and I I lost a tooth, I, I chipped a tooth off in my gingers um, yesterday at work. So I'm missing a tooth out of it, and Friday, next Friday after work, after it off, I'm going to end up, I'm going to end up, um, getting it fixed. So, there you have it, uh, Seven Dawn Floor Coach Fitness Online. And please still like, subscribe, you know, if you, if you want to reach out to me, go to my Instagram, message me, and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, don't be fake profiles or anything like that. Um, I don't respond to fake people. I, I respond to real people that want to be, you know, be serious in their training and stuff like that. And, you know, it, you know, if they need guidance, you know, I could probably be their guidance, you know, it's for being more positive, you know, if you need me for that, you know, I can help you with that, I'm, uh, if you ask some of my friends, you know, around town, people around town, if, they, if you ask them, say, hey, do you know Seth Donald, if they say, yeah, we know him, you know, he sounds like a cool guy, and, man, he's a really cool guy, I mean, he's nice, you know, he's very respective and you know just don't do that mom and you don't like that when people do it wrong but you know nobody does, does like that when people do you wrong anyway but I'm just saying hit me up on something on four and I'll see you in the next video on Instagram and I will uh I will let you all go and enjoy your family and oh have a safe holiday safe trip and um i'll see you in the next video peace